Look at this, I'm a grown man wearing a South Park t-shirt. It's my, it's my pajamas, if that helps. Um, so I'm walking down the street tonight and I see a man smoking in an area where you're not supposed to be smoking and sometimes cops will stop you there in the middle of the city and say, hey, you can't smoke and they'll give you a fine for 2,000 yen, which is like 20 bucks. Maybe it's 30 bucks, I forget. But anyway, so I tell the guy, and he's with two buddies, I'm like, hey man, don't smoke, you can't smoke here. And he like, yeah, yeah, I got it. And he brushes me off. And the way he did it was kind of rude. So I looked, I just stood there looking at him. And he turned around and he saw me looking at me. And he goes, and he used like a kind of a fake Yakuza voice. And the guy was like a businessman. Like, I'm not, not going to kick my ass. And his other buddies were. Um, I wasn't, you know, scared or anything. So. But he turned around and yelled at me. Like, you're not a cop. I said, you're the reason Japan is going to hell. And I kind of sang it to him. <laughs> Telephone's ringing. I'll be right back. And I'm back. Um, my wife's out with her co-workers tonight and getting drunk, which means she'll be frisky. And it's not even Saturday night. Uh, can't believe I said that. Um, and it's not true. Well, that doesn't happen at all. <laughs> so I told the, the, the smoker, I was like, um, I was like, um, oh, yeah, by the way, I shaved the beard and got new glasses and nobody notices I shaved the beard. It wasn't much of a beard anyway, but... Everyone thinks I got a haircut, which is, isn't that funny? Anyway, so I, um, I, I sing to the guy, you're the reason Japan is going to hell. And all in Japanese, I kind of sing song. And, uh, and I said, and if I ever, I, I did this in Japanese, and if I ever see you again, I'll rip the cigarette out of your mouth. And I looked at his friends more than him because I knew it would embarrass him more <laughs> for me to target his friends on the side, you know. I, I, I enjoy going up to groups of people who are breaking the law in Japan and telling them that they're breaking the law, which means like people who are littering or um, or smoking in the area where you're not supposed to be smoking or throwing, you know, especially like in front of my school, there's a building and people sometimes hang out and like, what you know, they drunk and they're like, they, they, they're leaving beer cans and shit and I got to clean it up because I don't want my students walking by, you know, anyway, anyway. So, um, I haven't made a video in a while on a blog. I've been busy. I'm, I'm, I'm applying to master, a master's program. I've been applying to a few of them and writing essays in Japanese, and it's been a pain in the ass. But honestly, um, the other thing was, I'm kind of down on the whole YouTube thing right now. I can't really explain it except to say, I guess I, I, guess I kind of, I'm, I got out of practice, and I'm having trouble getting back into the swing of the camera, you know. And I really, I really need to apologize to quite a few people um, about not doing videos that I you know, collabs that I said I would do, um, or, you know, said I'd try to do, I don't remember if I promised anybody, but, and, and just not doing things that I usually would do, like, anything sarcastic is one of my favorite vloggers, and, uh, but, um, she, um, I think she's wonderful, and it's, it's, I gotta say this again, but for a long time, she's a lesbian, okay, and I didn't know that for a long time, I didn't, I just never knew that she was a lesbian. And I must have skipped like every video. And one day she talked about it. I'm like, I never knew you were a lesbian. And I uh, look at look what I found on the ground the other day. Maggie was sniffing at it. This is some kind of manga comic book character. But anyway, so um, so she she was the night partnership, and I featured her video in my profile. And I was, you know, I like my the old Victor would be like, God damn it, we've got to do something. Get her, you know, she should be partnered. And but actually, I'm kind of like down on, I'm so kind of out of the. I've lost it. I've lost the fervor of fighting for something, you know. I was like, well, it's YouTube. What do you expect? You expect those morons to realize. But and the other thing is, nobody really, I'm sure that it, if anyone at YouTube really realized who she was or, or watched even one video of hers, they'd realize that she's a very talented, funny, interesting, great. And the fact that she's a lesbian should help too, I think. Yeah. And she's got great views. And she's got 1,700 or so subscribers. And great views and ah, he's a great community person. Anyway, it's just ridiculous that she's not a, subs uh, a partner. <sighs> but I'm kind of like, well, what do you expect? It's YouTube. And then Sam Sarah Jade is a YouTube advocate now and she's uh, asked me to do a collab and kind of pointing out the good things and the bad things about YouTube. And I'm like, yeah, there are a lot of good things about YouTube and a lot of bad things about YouTube, but I really don't even care like pointing them out anymore. You know, it's just like, I mean, what's the point, you know? It's like, uh, it's almost like the weather, you know? Like, I think I've said this before, but what's the point of getting mad at the weather? It's raining, guys. You know, I wish it were not raining. Tomorrow might be sunny, but you'll never know. And YouTube is like that. Some days it works fine, some days it doesn't. But 
the same time, it's nothing. It's not that bad. It's not like there's a hurricane or earthquakes or anything. So it's fine. Um, Net Junkie, Australian girl who gave me a wonderful red T-shirt and some drawer somewhere, and some um, some liquor from Australia. The, the rum escapes me. Starts with a B, I think. Anyway, um, she's doing. She wanted me to do a collab to promote the the YouTube gathering coming soon, and I I just didn't have time. I just life life. Uh, is too awesome, and it got it got in my way. You know, we had a barbecue on Sunday all day, and I ate and pigged out all day. It was out in the rain, even. But and uh, I'm either I'm either doing things that I have to do, like responsibility, like going to pay my life insurance or health insu health insurance or something. Oh, and then Maggie got attacked a dog last week and almost killed it, put it in the hospital, and the whole day I'm stressed out about that. And this nice lady in my building. Uh, poor dog, um, and Maggie's never done that before. Anyway, that's another headache. So, so I couldn't do the Net Junkie collab, and um, who else? Oh yeah, I really, I really owe like Doc Rusty a super big apology. I should probably flay myself alive. There's a collab I I meant to do with him like months ago, and just never. I can't get the energy up for that kind of collab. It's um, a different kind of energy. Um, I can like avoid it by doing other things like this which don't take any energy it's just kind of me bitching uh, or talking or blah 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 you know yeah and I, I can't even like I, I feel like either way I'm losing like I I made an account on vlogger heads I was one like that was the eighth vlogger to go on there and I promoted it and then I felt like it was just too frustrating to be on there one thing the vibe was all wrong I felt like a traitor in a way Half of my friends were all pissed off at me. It wasn't really that, though. The other thing was, like, I was spending too much time over there. I felt like, um... And as you can, I haven't made any videos on either side, actually, in the last ten days. And it's it's not it's not because, uh, you know... I'm it's, it's either one or the other. It just, I just haven't felt, you know, like I want to do it, right? Uh, but either way, I feel like uh, I don't want to give up on YouTube, but at the same time, I don't feel gung-ho about YouTube. And... When I go over to Vloggerheads, I made an, another new account yesterday, or two days ago, and I don't feel like saying anything over there. I mean, it's a wonder, I, there's great, there's great vloggers over there that don't, are not on YouTube, a couple, and I think they're opening it up more, even, I'm not sure, but I think more people can invite more people. They, yeah, so if, you, if, you, if you're if you if you interested in Vloggerhead, I highly recommend it, I'm, pretty much everyone's over there. Uh, even people that um, you would never expect to be over there, so that's all, I'll leave it at that. <laughs> But yeah, there's some really good vloggers over here, so I, I highly recommend you going over there. But uh, but for me right now, I just don't have anything to say. I don't have anything to say. So that's that's what I'm saying. Oh yeah, YouTube whining site was down, and give me a break band site was down. And I thought I'd been hacked, but then I contacted the site, uh, the server, and they're like, we don't know what's wrong. We it's, we got we're kind of confused ourselves, you know. So they haven't gotten back to me, but it's gone up and down in the last week. So I'm almost like, oh, what's the point of updating anything? And I'm trying to get back into the Japanese lessons things. But there's no point in updating the the site if I can't, um, you know, if I if it's not going to show up when you type in gimmebreakband.com. So that's been kind of frustrating. I'm I'm completely frustrated with the stupidity of the American voter. Part of me is, you know, and how so many people can say, we oh, well, I like Palin, you know, the fact that she's a creationist or. A, doesn't see or the stupidity of some of the things she said like she didn't know what the Bush doctrine was just uh, you know they're not gonna she, she's probably not gonna debate with Biden because they're gonna put that off they're gonna avoid it because you know it would be an embarrassment and McCain would lose so he'd be smart uh, not to let her um, you know debate it's just the stupidity it's amazing but at the same time then I saw a Clinton interview on I think the view or something in which he's ta talking about how everybody, you know, everybody makes their decision to vote for different reasons, and it was actually quite an intelligent monologue that he gave. And then I was thinking, you know, well, how can he be so intelligent and such an idiot with the Monica Lewinsky thing? This is a guy, a grown man who doesn't know how to keep his dick in his pants. You know, how I mean, how stupid can you be? I mean, okay, maybe he's just like sexually retarded or something. I never, I never got that. You know, I never got how anyone could be a grown man and make such a stupid mistake because they think with the wrong head. I never understood that. Um, I haven't made a vlog in a long time and I'm really sorry. I guess I'm kind of down in the dumps in a YouTube way, uh, but um, maybe this will crack me out of it. And if you watch this super long ass video, wow, you must be really bored at work.